Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live here on our Patreon channel. And uh, guys, I really got some information I want to share with you. Uh, I've been talking about several videos I wanted to do here, and I still have a couple I know I need to do. This one here, I will include some of that information when we get to the asteroid issue there. But I'm actually going to be getting more into the uh, video that uh, Mike from around the world, some of the things that he said on Paul's program. And the reason I'm wanting to get into that information is because Mike is saying things that I've been telling you guys for months, if not even for the last two years. Uh, so I look at it as a confirmation and I need to bring it back up. And the reason I want to bring it back up is because as he's confirming things I've already told you, then I think it's important that uh, we readdress it because Mike is a scientist. I may not know how to articulate as well as he does, but he is a scientist. And so I want to share that information with you here uh, and really dive deeper into it. Now, I actually have up, have up our YouTube channel, Israeli News Live. I also wanted to kind of share with you, um, YouTube censors us. They block the ability of people to really help us to get up, uh, you know, the subscribers to get up. They're always unsubscribing people, etc. And I would love to see this thing get over the 300, over the 400,000 mark just to kind of irritate YouTube. So if you would, go in there and check. Make sure you're subscribed. If not, resubscribe. Uh, because I really want to just get this over that mark there because I want to send a message to YouTube. You might censor us, but the people have our back and they can really help us to, to move forward. Uh, so we thank you for that uh, in advance there. So I'm going to be getting, like I said, into several things. CIA is one of those things, and these are just props that I put up. Uh, it's not that the article is specifically important to what we're talking about, but in this case here, the CIA and the Vatican's intelligence apparatus, name of that article right there. Uh, that was one of the things that Mike brought up in this interview with Paul. I thought it was interesting because of the fact that we just did that not long ago, sharing with you how the NSA, CIA, Mossad, controlling churches, not just the way Mike says it, but they literally control pastors. Uh, and we have named those for you. So, uh, in fact, let me just, uh, uh, I'll see if we can't. Let me jump over here. I'll open up another YouTube channel here. That's our Stephen Benoon channel. And you might want to take and go and subscribe to that channel as well. Uh, there's only about 10,000 people there. I actually record our, our Patreon channels here. Uh, over on this channel here as a general Good role. afternoon, friends. Steve. And then I share that with you guys. Uh, let me just look under the managing of the videos. I could have done that in Israeli News Live. Let me just see. Um, and then what I'll do is occasionally I'll start to make some of those public that have not been made uh, public. Um, uh, well, you know what? I did do that one about the meteorites already, so I don't even really need to do that one again. We did that on February 21st, so I won't really go back into that information again here. Let's see here. Um, oh, wow. I'm just looking to see. Do we have anything? Let me let me just type in CIA. Uh, wow. Okay, so I did not load that on that channel there. Maybe, 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 just maybe we did it over here. So let's go to the manage videos. Aha, they don't want us to. Oh, I see why. Never mind. It's not that they don't want us to go. I switched the account name and that's what caused that to happen. So let's go back to Israeli News Live. All right, there we go. And then now we'll go to manage. I'll, I'll type in CIA. I wanted to bring this video up, though, just so that you guys are able to see it. Um, well, no, it's not in that video either. Gosh, I don't know where where I put it. Maybe I did it over on, I could have done it in iConnect FX. That, I know it's a very sensitive video that we did. You guys know about it because you've seen it here on Patreon. See, it's not like you don't already know about it. You know about the video. But let's get into some of the things that Mike is saying here. I don't want to waste your time. So let's see, I have that one there. That's at 218, 20 is where he talks about that. So let's just take it down to that mark right there. 
All right, let's listen in. It's a little, few seconds before. They're going to be empowered. They're going to be empowered to do exactly because everybody else. Let me just make sure my desktop audio is on here. Okay, yeah, it is that way. I'll make sure you guys get a quality sound. All right, let's let's listen in. Out there has a heart's desire, and these imps are working against that true heart's desire. And by I love the way, it. if we're called by the Lord, that heart's desire aligns with the will of God. Amen. It's a win-win situation every single time. But the CIA was involved. They admitted it. They admitted it that they went around to religious institutions and chat rooms and everything else to deter people. You have artificial intelligence that will actually target um, um, a Christian institutions. CIA Not plans? Not any institution, but Christian institutions. The CIA admitted this. Bill Clinton apologized not only for some of the stuff the CIA did and the FBI did, but he also there were there were dockets that followed up with that, how they were inclined with religious organizations to steer people. Right. They did you notice that involved with religious organization to steer people? Well, we named a lot of those individuals there, and there's a lot of them I didn't even name that are controlled by NSA. They have handlers, etc. So yes, the CIA, NSA, even Mossad out of Israel control religious organizations to be able to build up the state of Israel, in this particular case here, the state of Israel to be the head of the new world order. Now, they're not saying that they're going to be the head of the new world order. They're just trying to say that Israel is truly God's chosen and this is the way it's going to be. People forget about the synagogue of Satan, right? And remember, I, I shared with you guys in a broadcast recently, synagogue, what does that mean? The gathering of Gog. Remember the Gog of Magog war? Hello, somebody, wake up out there because synagogue, the synagogue of Satan, and let's just look that up. My goodness, let's just take a quick look here. Um, synagogue Satan. See if we can't pull that up. I, oh, I missed it. Didn't get it spelt right because of the way it's done there. Let me back that up again. All right, the synagogue of Satan. Here we go. Revelation 2.9 uh, and 3.9. Specifically, I think 3.9 is what I would like. But I, behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you. All right, that's in Revelation 3, 9, Revelation 2, 9. And to the angel of the church of Smyrna, write these things, saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know your works and tribulation and poverty, but you are rich. And I know the blasphemy, blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan, the gathering of Gog. Literally, that word synagogue is gathering of Gog. It's two words. I, I broke that down. The gathering of Gog. And what have they done? This is the, this is, are the ones that are in power right now. And Netanyahu is part of that group. He comes from the actual, the very land of Gog, not Magog. Now, Magog is Turkey, but Gog is actually from that Ukrainian area, the whole Khazarian empire there, you know, and many of the, not all of them, but many of the uh, prime ministers of Israel are all from that area. Isn't it interesting? Most of the prime ministers of Israel have come from either Belarus, uh, Poland, or uh, Ukraine. Mainly Ukraine and Belarus are the two main ones there. That's where their ancestry comes from if they weren't actually born there specifically. Very interesting how this works out, right? And so when you support the Jewish people, and I'm not against the state of Israel, but I am against this the theocracy that they're creating. And they're trying to make it look like, oh, well, they're only there because the secular side of the Jews have made it so horrible with the Supreme Court and they have to do this in order to bring about a balance. When you force people to an ideology, especially a Talmudic state, which is what Netanyahu said that he wanted, that becomes a problem, becomes a major problem, all right? So I wanted to share that with you. Boy, gosh, 
I hope we can put this video up on Patreon. I don't even know, right? Uh, we may have to take it down. May only be able to have it up for a short while. All right, let's let's continue on though, right? It's not just that, but let's look at some more things here. Okay, um, some more things that Mike has said here that really are concerning for me. Oh, that's right. That's right. No, we don't even have this video up. It's only on iConnectFX.com about the CIA, Mossad, and all that because of the sensitivity of that information. Oh, goodness. All right. So, listen, I may have this video as one video over on iConnect, and then we'll start right here forward, and we'll go into some things that I can't put on Patreon. All right. So, let's take a look at some other things that Mike said in this video. All right. Um... We're going to go to the minute mark. I want to say, let's see, I have, I have 149. Now, I will tell you one thing too, and I can't get into this as of yet, but he did talk in there too about, well, no, I won't even talk about that on here. I'm not going to do it. Let's, let's, let's listen into right here. All right. Yep. There are always... 10 days away, one year away, 90 days away, 60 days. All right. Now, what he's going to talk about right here, he's going to talk about Iran already has nuclear weapons. How long have I been telling you guys this, right? But it's more than just that. So let's listen in. They do this every single time there's an election. Here's the truth. They have been, they have nuclear capabilities. Right? If they could, they put a nuclear weapon on a, on a, on a, on a, on a pod ready to launch. Here's the problem. The problem is... You have too many systems that can actually interfere with that launch. Okay, so it does no good to have a nuclear weapon if you can't launch it yeah, to a location yeah, or a place right, without right. interference. So what they need to do is start to reposition the Middle East. This is taking place now. They need to take out all air defense systems. And interestingly enough, if you go look in Turkey and where the air defense was located, that's, that's close, you'll though. find that this earthquake was um, very interesting. And it's wow. All right now. Two things I want you to notice. Mike says Iran already is nuclear capable. How many years have I been telling you guys this? I've been saying it for quite a few years. I mean, a lot of years, actually. Probably six, seven years I've said Iran is nuclear capable. Now, Mike comes out and says it. But then now he's also talking about this earthquake was very interesting. I think it was here on Patreon, we went into this not long ago, how that um, Israel, the United States, Russia, China, I know those four countries have the capability of creating earthquakes. They can create them anywhere they want. In fact, because of Turkey, I had reached out to the, uh, some friends I know with Mossad and asked them, was that actually an Israeli done earthquake? And they contacted me back and said they weren't for sure about that, but they did say, yes, we do have the technology. Then I had a meeting with uh, some people there in Washington, and I made that statement that Mossad says to me, and they confirm, yes, they know that Israel too has the technology to create those earthquakes. So now Mike is telling you that that earthquake happened in a very interesting place. Now he's going to go on to say that it happened uh, in a place there that was uh, where some of our bases were inside of Turkey. So why are the bases around, or why are around our bases being targeted with these earthquakes? And who's doing it? To prevent us from stopping a nuclear weapon from Iran hitting Israel. That's something to think about, friends. I mean, that's something to really, really think about. Uh, wow. I mean, this is, things are getting nuts. They're very getting very nuts. All right. Now, the other thing here, let's see. Um, all right. The other thing that Mike talks about in the video is he's going to be talking about the sea rising. I've been saying that for a long time as well. The oceans are going to rise. I actually told you the details. I even said about how that it was caused from the magma underneath the earth, the volcanoes heating up, 
uh, the melting of the uh, the ice glaciers. And as those ice gla glaciers begin to melt and drop into the oceans, and by the way, it's kind of like a chain of events is what it is. It's the uh, the binary system that's creating this energy waves that's, that's affecting the sun that creates those energy waves. As I told you that we don't even, we've not even seen these type of energy waves before that are affecting the earth. That's what's causing all the seismic activity on the earth, the underwater volcanoes. Remember I told you there's more volcanoes erupting under the oceans. I said this a while back. I said if you're able to fly over or do an overseas flight there at nighttime, you can literally see parts of the ocean floor glowing red because there's just that many volcanoes going off. And, uh, and people don't even realize all of this. Uh, another thing that Mike got into in this video, too, was that he named the number of viruses that have been released that have come up out of the permafrost. Uh, and I told you, I said Greenland is going to be one of the first places that they really talk about this. But let's go to the video here where he talks about the oceans rising there, just so you can see that. And, and again, like I said, you guys already know this. I've, I've said this for the longest time. But I really appreciate it because, in my opinion, what it does is it gives a confirmation about uh, the things that I've already told you. So now you're getting a confirmation from Mike from around the world. Listen in. All over the place. We're going to see that this year. And if you look at some of the fire maps this year, it'll be inundated with fires all over the place. Now, this will be in combination with rising sea levels like we have not seen before. This year is going to be that year where sea levels are going to surprise people. people wow. People are going to be frightened by the rise so the so water. you're saying the sea is going <clears> to <throat> rise but the but the rivers are going to run drier in other words we're right, going to have let me jump forward the rivers right now are drying up i mean i mean the yangtze waters are rising anymore, okay so why are the sea rising while the fresh goes away where's the fresh going well normally fresh water is found in these inland areas right inland areas that are that are uh, the, the rock strata is, is just uh, pretty tight, but you have magma underneath there. Ground temperatures yep. at a certain depth are going up big time, right? So okay. when you get these large areas where there's magma, it's just simply going to evaporate, turn into a gas, wherever the case is. It's not just turns into a gas. What happens too, and I actually shared this with you guys well over a, probably a year ago, is that the water underneath is just disappearing mainly because what it does is like it opens up the ground opens up internally in the earth and then that water just falls deeper into the earth that's one of the things that's happening and i know he doesn't really explain that but that is one of the issues that are happening there let me go up to 209 this is where he talks about the viruses and we'll kind of kind of tapered off right there with that issue there right. Uh, and, and that's going to continue to increase as this system continues. The oceans are going to continue to heat. Ice is going to melt. Things are going to rise. We already, we also have, I believe they said 294 new species of viruses that have been released. Oh, through the no. Ice, through the ice. Um, and of course, you can't track that many viruses. Those viruses have not been in human beings for a long time. We have no immunity to the viruses and bacteria that are being released. All right, so you guys, I'm sure you remember where I've discussed those issues with you as well, the viruses underneath the permafrost. I, a good while back, I went in there and I said, Greenland's gonna be one of the first places where that happens. They're also gonna say, one of these viruses that is gonna be released on the public that the CIA was uh, involved in there with these uh, extraterrestrials, they're going to say a meteorite brought it in. And as I mentioned to you, I think back on the 21st uh, of February, the there's supposed to be a meteorite storm this summer. And the meteorite storm is going to affect more of our satellites and things like that. And they're worried about the falling debris from that coming down here on the Earth. Uh, that may be the very time that they say a virus come in and it's going to wipe out a lot of humanity. There's all kinds of crazy things going on, friends. All kinds of crazy things. And I wanted to share some of this with you here on Patreon because uh, these are things that I've been telling you now for quite some time. Uh, anyway, listen, check out over on our YouTube channel, Israeli News Live. Going to be uploading a video here in just a little bit here about Damascus becoming a ruinous heap. And the reason I'm doing this, and I've done this before, talking about how that it breaks the covenant that was made between Laban and Jacob 
but I also found in the Dead Sea Scrolls some things that back up that information. And you're going to really find out what that covenant is really about from the Dead Sea Scrolls. And don't forget, subscribe, resubscribe, whatever you got to do. I really want to get this. I want to drive YouTube mad, show them that the people are going to support the work we're doing. And we appreciate it. We appreciate your support of Israeli News Live too, uh, of our Patreon channel, because you're what helped keep us going. Thank you and God bless you.